We're here today to release a report that outlines how Governor Martinez has given special preference to industries like oil and gas, the mega dairies, home builders and mining at the expense of public health, environmental protection and the local economy. In her first nine months in office, she quickly worked to dismantle some of the rules and regulations that were put in place in order to ensure the preservation of clean water. My name is Sandy Buffett. I'm Executive Director of Conservation Voters New Mexico. The purpose of this press conference today is to shine a light on how the actions of the Martinez administration are affecting New Mexico's families and communities. And the reality, unfortunately, is not pretty. The governor should be defending the right of all New Mexicans to drink clean water, breathe clean air, fish in our lakes and streams, and feel confident that their state government is working to protect them from harmful pollution. Instead, Martinez is siding with the lobbyists from big industrial polluters who profit by degrading our natural resources on which we depend. As a result of Martinez's attacks on common sense building codes, over the long term New Mexicans will pay more for their utility bills and will generate even greater quantities of carbon pollution that causes climate change. As a result of Martinez's attacks on rules that protect our groundwater from toxic waste from oil and gas production and factory farm, factory farm dairies, New Mexicans should be concerned about the long-term safety of our water supplies. For inviting me today on in a beautiful day in New Mexico, uh, I've just heard that our uh, air quality is uh, some of the best in the world here in Santa Fe and it sure feels like it today, uh, but give us uh, three years and we can uh, screw that up too. So um, I'm here to talk about the labor portion of the report and I, I appreciate uh, the fact that uh, this is a holistic report that looked at more than just the air and water quality. There's some labor issues, a lot of labor issues happening in the state. Uh, one of the main um, uh, problems we have right now is an inability to talk to the governor and uh, we too would ask for a seat at the table. Uh, we are uh, uh, being placed in a position where uh, uh, we have a, we're having people forced in the uh, Public Employee Retirement Board. Uh, unemployment, uh, an arbitrary unemployment cut uh, and uh, contributions for employers are ha is happening and that's going to go back to court. And frankly our conversations are happening uh, in civil court and not uh, in, in a civil manner. I think as New Mexicans if we could just uh, talk and, uh, and have conversations that, that include us all then uh, What's better? What's better for New Mexico than uh, than good air, good water, good labor relations, good jobs? Can I talk to you when all this is done? Sure. Or can I talk to you now? Let's talk now. Okay. Um, so I, I listened to what you said and what also what Sandy said. Um, what would you say to people in response who would say the, the economy is struggling and there should be less regulation and more of a pro-business stance? I would say yeah. that we cannot compromise our environment for any kind of profit. This is water which will be for generations to come. And in addition to that, this is a responsibility of these corporations. They mm -hmm. should put it into their budget mm -hmm. to clean up whatever mess they make. But we are now opening a full-time office in the Albuquerque area, and I will be traveling the state and meeting with our partners, gathering grassroots, and we want to bring this to the attention of the public because these communities in the South are compromised, don't really have a voice. I am giving this lady moral support. She'll, well, Dixie, would no, you like you it? tell her. We, we came to deliver a copy of uh, a report that we commissioned, and we would like to deliver a copy of it to the governor. Oh, how wonderful. Okay, it's so, called Private Profits, Public Threats. Okay. And I don't know that the governor's in her office, Dixie, so would the chief of staff be good enough for you? For her to look at, and we, we want to make sure that she sees that. Okay, I will get it to her. And we are also partnered with Conservation Voters, New Mexico, and the New Mexico Federation of Labor. Okay, I will get this to her. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you.